Um, one thing that hasn't changed is I still really am not getting into the whole card making thing. I'm trying. I really am. Not happening. Anyway, she just want, uh, just wanted to send you a short note and a tall card <laughs> to let you know I'm thinking of you. I've been missing your videos and hope that all is well. Enjoy the holiday time with your family and friends. All the best to you in 2016. Hugs, Paige. Thank you, Paige. Thank you so much. I know, I was thinking, like, you know, will anyone remember? <laughs> Which, why would you, really? I mean, you know, people have their own lives and they move on. Which is perfectly understandable. So, you know, I did think about that. But, and then I'd get emails. Sue, I know you've called a couple of times. I just, I don't know how to describe what it feels like. I, I can't. Just know that I was thinking of you guys. Honestly, I was. Um, and Sarah Lee, I got to get, you know, I, I know I owe Evelyn and um, Stephanie San Ryan. I, I, I have so much to do. I know I do. I know I do. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Who is this from? Oh, from Pam. Okay. Thank you. Thinking, okay, think of other, uh, wait, think of you often, enjoy your videos, hope this finds you and your family well. Um, I'm doing fine, hoping we get some snow this year. All right, why isn't there a ha 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 at the end of that one, Pam? Hoping we get some snow this year, is that right? Am I reading that right? Love you lots, Pam. Okay, can someone check on Pam? Because I don't know if that's what it says. And if it is, then I think we all are in trouble. Not just me. No offense. I don't want snow. We've been doing really good here in Boston. Like, we got a little bit... What is this? Like, the middle of January already. But see, last year, this is what happened. We got, like, slammed in February. Hmm. And I think we're supposed to get a storm at the end of uh, this week, in the weekend. Oh, sorry. This is from Beth. Now, Beth, I know you sent two cards, I think. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Oh, okay. So, hello from Beth B. in Hawaii, in Ohio. I know. I wish it was Hawaii. Um, I have enclosed a couple of cards for the October Challenge Girls Love Mail. So, these are the cards. Oh, I love these. Okay. Is this the... Um, Butterflies and Posies. Is that what it's called? The DCWV? D yeah. See, I have to get back on the swing of things. I have not even really been looking. But anyway. Um, oh, and then she wrote inside. Dear friend, I had to put butterflies on my letter to you. Why? Butterflies are so pretty and always put a smile on my face. I am hoping that when you see these butterflies that you will smile also. If I could, I would fly right to where you are and give you a great big hug. Stay strong. Smile. Your friend, Beth B. Isn't that beautiful? What a wonderful thing. What a wonderful sentiment. And then this one. I love these cards. Perfect. Thank you so much because I have not obviously done that yet. But what is great is, um, you know, it's there's no time limit. Unfortunately, um, and this is the first time, what, in like two or three years that I haven't done this St. Jude's, which is like killing me. I have to do St. Jude's, but I'll have to figure out another one, either maybe just like a happy spring or another theme because... Um, I really, I really miss that. I have to do that. So, thank you, Beth. Okay, and then this is from Marie Housie. Let me just see when this was sent. Did it say when? I'm just curious, because I just kept everything. Oh, October. October 16th. I'm so sorry, guys. Believe me, you did not want to see me the way I was. <laughs> a nervous breakdown. You know when you think you got it all figured out <laughs> and then not so much. Oh, what's this? Oh my god, that's so cute. What a good idea. Okay, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Okay. I have a box to put these in so I don't lose them. 
just a note. Here is my entries for October's challenge. Another great challenge. Oh, chocolate is for you. <laughs> oh, so this is it. This is for me because this is amazing. Look at how beautiful this is. She used the um, the pink breast cancer paper. Oh, and look at she made like this flower using folded. I have a punch that makes circles and you fold it in half and fold and then you just you just lay it on top of each other and that okay see this is why I can't stop using paper altogether because you know I see this and I want to do it but you can make these with any paper for any occasion and put it on anything I could put them on my boxes which I'm gonna do I'm gonna play with that what a great idea thank you so much and candy can't go wrong um, and then she made handmade with lots of love by Marie H I love that so there's this one um, dear sister hope prevails cancer cannot defeat you it only makes you stronger uh, though the battle be tough Hope is on your side. When there is hope, anything can be endured. And then comes the day when hope prevails. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. That's gorgeous. That's a beautiful sentiment, too. Oh, you guys are something. Wow. Dear sister, she stood in the storm, and when the wind did not blow her way, she adjusted her sails. Probably should have opened these because these are some really nice sentiments. And then she did some more, which I guess are the same because she just had two to show us, and then some more. So that's that's great. Thank you so much, Marie. And this is from Susan, Susan Bibber, my friend Susan. Hi, Susan. I saw you had emailed me too. The other bad thing is that where I work now, um, we're not allowed to use um, our private email, which I guess I understand because, you know, there's a lot of um, legal documents, obviously, and um, they're just really concerned about a virus getting in, and that's totally understandable. So we're not allowed to um, access our, our email, which makes it a little tougher just because it takes a lot for me just to get through the day and then when I get home I pretty much am like wiped so but I'm getting better it's definitely getting better okay sorry Let me feel it. oh I like the sorry. okay <clears throat> oh it's one of those I love that a pocket thing um, here are my cards for October's challenge. Also some die cuts for you. Oh, no way. Oh, my God, Susan. You're so nice. Drop it. No, seriously, if I could just say, um, don't, don't send me anything nice. I have a hard time with that. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed or not. Um, but, okay, anyway. Crazy. Um... I'm thinking of you. Look at how pretty that is. I don't know if you can see the dimensions there. Dear Warrior. That's a nice one. I'm thinking of you today. You are stronger than you know. We are all in this together, and I wish all the best for you, your friend Susan. Fantastic. Have a beautiful day. I love that on the beach. So it's the same thing. Oh, look at this one. How do I open it? Let's see. Oh, oh it's just the regular. Okay. I don't know why I thought it opened in the middle there. But it doesn't. But it's beautiful. And it says, uh, yep, the same sentiment. Oh, these are the die cuts. Okay. And then another one. Oh, I love these these uh, stickers. I'm getting rid of a, cra a crap load of stickers, too. Breathe in the freshness of the sea. Breathe out the cares of the day. Thank you, Susan, so much. This was Susan's idea, too, by the way. So I do owe Susan, I owe you a, um, um, 
surprise for that too. Oh my god, what fun stuff. Hold on a second, let me see what I got here. Yeah. First of all, this is too cute for words. Leave room in your garden for the fair fairy for the fairiest to dance. <laughs> that would be me. I'm the fairiest. No. And then there's all these like craft kind of die cuts. Sewing machine. And scissors. I love these scissors. Beautiful. Oh, what is that? Is this supposed to be a hanger? I don't know. I don't hang. Oh no, here's a hanger. I don't know what this is. And then more yarn and stuff. Thank you so much. Like a boat. You did not have to do that. Oh my god, and look at even a safety pin. Can you believe that? How funny is that? Thank you so much. Susan, thank you. I love that. I love that. I love that. I've been getting so many dye, dyes. Um, teacup ones and pretty much teacup ones. I don't know why. I'm just really, I don't know why I'm so into the whole teacup thing, but I am. Um, and this is from... This is from Jane. Oh, Jane. Jesus. I, I don't even want to get into it. <laughs> I, owe, I owe so many people so many things. So many promises that I have not kept. And I'm so sorry about that. This is from Jane in Denmark, no less. Hey, is Denmark anywhere near the Netherlands? Is Denmark in the Netherlands? <laughs> Emily is going... Um, I don't know. My kids are like unbelievable. They're going for a month at the end of May because Rachel is graduating from college um, in May and then they're going for a month to Europe. They're going to France and Italy and Barcelona and they're going to Ireland. I don't know. All these places. And then Emily leaves at the beginning of August and she's going to be at the Mostra University for school and for business and economics is that right? Maastricht which is in the Netherlands um, and she's there until the end of December and then she's going to be studying in Provencal is that the name of it? In France for spring semester right? I haven't even been anywhere in my entire life anyway oh look at how pretty this is sorry Jane got carried away. I was just wondering about that. Oh, look at how beautiful. Oh, look at that. Wow. Dear Beth, here are my cards for the October challenge. I wanted to thank you for all your great challenges. I really enjoy participating in them. I know I'm so sorry, guys. But we're going to get started again, I promise. I also want to thank you for your wonderful... Oh, see now you... Okay, this is the thing. I don't really like it when, uh, when you say nice things. <laughs> sorry. Um... I'm so glad to have found you on YouTube, and I really appreciate our friendship. I really appreciate our friendship, too, Jane. And I'm sorry that um, I haven't been there like I should have been. So I'm sorry about that. Anyway, moving on. Ooh, look at how beautiful. Oh my God, look at that. Oh, this is gorgeous. Dear friend, I can't even begin to imagine what you are going through and that's why I won't. Instead, I'll tell you that no matter how hard this journey becomes, I will always be out, out here thinking about you and uh, supporting you through positive thoughts. I made this awareness ribbon for you as a small um, small proof of my support. I hope these words will brighten your day. And remember, a stranger is just a friend you haven't met yet. Big hugs, your unknown friend, Jane, and Denmark. Jane, you are too much, honestly. These are beautiful. You guys are so unbelievable. 
So she did for each one, and she did four of them, which is pretty amazing. I love these. Thank you so much, Jane. Thank you. This one, I believe, I could be wrong, but I think it might be the Breast Cancer Cards. Now, um, you know what this reminds me? I wonder if this is from, because it says um, Nadia, but I know her as Nat or Natasha or Natalia or what are they, all the other ones. Anyway, she is having a challenge. I don't know what it is. I'm sorry. I haven't checked. I haven't really looked because I, I feel bad. But um, I'll find out the information and then um, I'm going to do a, um, a, a haul video. Um, not tonight or tomorrow night because you know what? American Idol. And it's the final season. You know, I do have my priorities. No, I'm kidding. All right. So, hi, Beth. Here are some cards for the October Challenge. Season say nice things. Okay. This is from Nadia Sabalos. Sabalos. Nadia Sabalos. Ooh. What a fun. Ooh. Okay. Sorry. Hold on. I got excited here. Hold on a minute. It got caught. Okay. So first there's this one. Fight like a girl. How fun is that? Hope. I support you. God bless Nadia. That's really cute. I like a girl. I love those. And then this one. Thank you so so much. I have to um I have to put all the names together. So I can do the other the other prize. Um, okay, and this is from D. D. Cobb. This came in. I have no idea. That's weird that it doesn't say. I don't know when it was sent. I'm sorry, D. Okay, so it was around Halloween. <laughs> Oops, I'm sorry. Although, can I just tell you something? Re oh my god. Talking about ghosts. Okay, I'm sorry, D, just for a second. You want to hear something really weird? Okay. So, um, I got in the mail from Etsy, I think it was, a, um, a sheet with teacup, Victorian teacups. Okay. So, um, I put it into my scanner thing, you know, my printer. I wanted to put it in my printer so I could print out more than one because, you know, I don't know. I'm, is that cheating? I don't know. I mean, I'm not selling them. I'm just using them, but I don't know. Anyway, well, I open up the printer, like the, the cover to my printer, and there's already a piece of paper in there. And I look at it, and it's my father's uh, death certificate. He died in 2002. Isn't that bizarre? Like, an original death certificate, like, that's got the uh, embossed seal at the bottom. I have no idea where it came from. I mean... My husband didn't take it for any reason. My kids, I didn't even know we had one. And isn't that bizarre? I know. Anyway, just reminding me that because he actually did look like that a little bit. <laughs> Happy Halloween. Thank you for your friendship. Love and blessings, D. Cobb. Thank you so much, D. I haven't been much of a friend lately, but I'm going to try. I'm going to be better, I promise. It just takes a little work, but I'm getting there. And this is from Kim, all the way in England, no less. You guys are too much. How funny would that be if there wasn't a channel anymore and I'm like doing this video? I'll have to start over. I'll have to start with a new name or something. I don't know what. Doki. Ooh. Oh, look at this card. I love it. Ooh. 
I 